So now we are going to create a Java program that will be able to write inside a file. So essentially, we are going to perform the write operation in a file. So the steps that are involved is first thing is we are going to copy data from file 1.txt to file 2.txt. So we will create a program that will copy the data from one file to the another. In doing so, we will read the file 1.txt using the read operation, which we have already seen in the previous tutorial. And while reading it, we are simultaneously going to write each character to file 2.txt. In this manner, we will be able to achieve copying data from file 1 to file 2. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen that we can use file input stream to read data from a file. Similarly, we have file output stream class to write to the file. We are going to use fout.write function to write characters to file 2.txt while reading from the file. So the write operation is very easy now if we have already seen how to read the data. So let's move on to the Eclipse IDE and see how this will work. So here we have the program where we have essentially created a file which is vishal.txt and you can see th these are the contents of the file. After running this Java program, the output was, you can see we are reading this file here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to copy the contents of vishal.txt into another file which is vishal2.txt. So the first step is to create a reference to a file output stream class and initialize it as null. Now remember that you will have to import the file output stream java.io.file input output stream. The next step is to go inside this try catch where we have initialized the fn object. Now here I am going to initialize the fout object similarly to what we have done previously. Inside the file output stream, we will specify the name of the file where we want to perform the write operation. So the file is going to be vishal2.txt. Now you can see here in the project tree that there is no vishal2.txt. So whenever you will initialize an object using file output stream, you do not need to create the vishal2.txt or the file. It will automatically it will automatically create the file for you. All right, so now let's write to this file vishal2.txt. Now you can see here in this case, we are reading the file. In this do while loop, you can see we are reading the characters from the file. Now what we are going to do is we are going to simply call the write function. And the write function is basically, it is used to write and it throws an IO error occurs, so IO exception. So now here I'm going to use the write operation and I will have to provide the character that I want to write. So I will pass the track character inside this fout object. That's all. Now we can run this program and this program will create a file vishal2.txt and it will copy the data from vishal.txt to vishal2.txt. So let's run this program to see this in action. Now you can see it has, uh, it is reading the file. Now let's see if it has created a file in the project tree. We will go to our project and we will right click. And here you can see a refresh option or you can just press F5. So after refreshing, you can see there is a second file which is vishal.txt. So let's open this file. On opening this file, you can see that it has just copied this data to here. That's how we perform the write operation and read operation inside a file.